Hey, party people. Good morning, Crested Crew. We're on our way to Bricks and Mini Things in Austin, Texas. Oh, Are you excited? Yeah. Back in our home turf, our home yes. state, our home Bricks and Mini Fig. It's been a while since we've been here. We were at Brick World Chicago last week, and so we're finally back, and Brick Rodeo is happening right now, so it's a crazy time. I'm excited to see all my buddies at the Bricks and Mini Figs. Want to talk the talk, walk the walk. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? But really, I just want to see what kind of Star Wars sets they have available. So speaking of Brick Rodeo happening right now, if you're in town for Brick Rodeo or if you're local, check out the Bricks and Mini Figs here. If you're a subscriber to Emma Source or if you mention me either in the store here, like up in North Austin or at the convention center, you'll get 20% off your purchase, which is awesome. Yay! Plus an exclusive minifigure. I believe it's like a Texas torso printing. Oh, yeah. It's really cool. So very, you know, very howdy spirit. So it's howdy, howdy. howdy. <laughs> so yeah, make sure to mention Emma Source to get that discount as well as the exclusive minifig, but also just like go stop by their booth if you're at Brick Rodeo. They are so nice. The people here are so much fun and like we come here all the time. Like this is our favorite store. So definitely check them out. And I think we're gonna head in now. We have some friends meeting us here. I'm so excited, you guys. Some other content creators in the Lego space. Do you think they'll, they'll recognize them? I, I think so. Maybe. Wait, Emily, where are we going again? Bricks and minifigs? Bricks and minifigs. Bricks and minifigs. Bricks and bricks and bricks and minifigs. Woo! <laughs> this is for you, Bricks and Minifigs Corporate. <laughs> At Brick World Chicago, Bricks and Minifigs Corporate came up to us. They're like, we love the song. I was so flattered. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Yeah. Oh, wait, speaking of friends, they just arrived. All right, guys, I know you're all excited. We were able to get Ryan from MR Productions. <laughs> <laughs> We've got Claire and Sands here. Cheap, cheap Ryan. <laughs> All right, Ross, what are we looking at? All right, so we got a couple of cool things. One thing that always pops to my eye is Prince of Persia sets. Saws there, gotta love it. Oh, that's crazy. Underrated theme, and I think it was a really good Lego theme. Like, Lego really put their best foot forward when they were making these sets, uh, but apparently the movie just wasn't that great. I actually watched <laughs> it, and I don't remember it. Uh, check this out. So this is the uh, the UCS A-Wing. Uh, it's really cool seeing this. This is actually the same designer who did, I believe they did the... The, the gunship, right? Yeah, they definitely did the gunship, and you can kind of tell. I was like, yeah, it looks like the same designer. Yeah, no, it looks the same. It has angles down. Yeah, Pretty that's good. really good. Oh, wow. Looks like we have some Minecraft as well some what creator three in one it looks like the townhouse pet shop oh gosh yeah we have this one in our city i've like kind of added tiles around it to make it look a little bit better in there but it's so nice it's like just very modern the little cappuccino on the side very cute oh check this out so this is some cool i love the nexo knights look at that king that's a king if i've ever seen one yeah that's cool oh wow got it printing on there too is that printing yeah that's that's not a sticker is it no that's printing Wow, yeah, that looks really nice. Next that's tonight. a good mech. Underrated theme, TBH. Wow, look at that, they got a lot of next here. Look, they got the moving fortress. Oh, that's cool. I I love this one because it's kind of meta in a way that like Lego didn't want people to turn their t uh, their castles into tanks. That's why the original Lego castle was yellow. And then I love that they made <laughs> uh, a castle and turned it into a tank. <laughs> that's like, actually it's, really, it's funny. really funny. It's really funny. I wow. wonder if they like thought it was funny when they were doing it. The brick bounty. Oh, oh cool. that's cool. This is a really nice pirate ship. I like it. I wonder if it floats. And then they've got a bunch of Harry Potter down here to Hogwarts Express. I am so excited. I've heard so many rumors about the new D to C coming out later this year. Let us know in the comments if you're excited as well. It's gonna look so good. Oh, and then this guy here, the adventurers, this minifig. I've seen it a few times recently and it just kind of scares me. Like, I don't know, it's just something about it. It is a little creepy, huh? It doesn't have eyes. Hey, it's Josh from Josh Build Stuff. Oh, funny running into you guys. <laughs> Where'd you get in Josh? Um, Formula One, one of the first Formula One cars made. Oh, Not cool. Technic, alt system, engine, it's Ferrari, decent enough price. Don't tell my wife. I always like to like pick out some of these like really cool, unique things. Like, I don't know what this is. It looks like some, maybe like a postcard or something. This is really cool. Oh, wow. um, I also think this is really cute. So this is like a little caveman set for $10, which I'm pretty sure these are CMFs or close to it. Those are really cute. Um, yeah. And it looks like you can, you know, this is like its house. So you can take it out and you can have like a little caveman house. <laughs> That's really cool. That's really cute. Aww, I love that. I love those kinds of things. Um, this is also fun too. Lego made a version of Guess Who. Oh, wow. Um, and I really I like this because you can just swap out and you can put your own mini figs in there. And you could do like a Star Wars guest here. Like that's, that's really that's cool. really creative. I'm thinking about getting this. That would be kind of fun. Yeah. I would enjoy that. Like with family, that'd be really fun. Exactly. Ooh, Ghostbusters. Look at oh. this one. Oh man, that oh, is yeah. cool. Oh yeah, so this is the Ghostbusters from the, uh, the new movie, which I actually still never saw. Um, but I think that's Chris Hemsworth. 
That's all I really know about. Is it? I, I actually haven't seen it, yeah. so I don't know. Hey, wow, this is really cool. So if you didn't get a chance to get the Lunar New Year sets, this is a good opportunity to get them. Uh, they have them here. Uh -huh. Oh, this is really cool. I like this one a lot. We never got it, and we did get this one. We I never like, finished building it. Yeah, it's only like the ice. We, we, we're behind. Harry the I'll... platypus. Harry. <laughs> it's kind of cute. There's like a phone and some other things like hidden beneath the ice in this. It's really creative. Oh, wow. They have so many of this one too to Jane Goodall tribute. Oh, wow. We have like two or three of these at home. I haven't built them. I'm just like keeping them new in box forever. I just love them. Oh, gosh. And then Lightyear. I haven't had a chance to see it yet with like Brick World and Brick Rodeo and just like this crazy month. I haven't seen the movie yet. Was it good? I've heard it was pretty good. So I'm excited to see it. So this one's really cool. I love this set. I, I have it and I still haven't built it yet and the set actually comes with a few wolf pack troopers a Jedi and Commander Wolf unfortunately it doesn't look like this one comes with figures but I absolutely love this set okay guys they're letting us go behind the counter to look at some really cool stuff ah it's so exciting to see We've got a cool Thor Ragnarok set uh, it looks like it's missing Hela but they might be able to find that one uh, old General Grievous set. These, again, these aren't for sale yet. They're just kind of getting ready. They're still being worked on. <laughs> They're still being worked on. But check this out. We have the UCS Naboo Starfighter. Wow. And why this set is so special, you ask? It's the chrome, right? It's the chrome. That's so cool. I've never seen this one. The chrome I, looks so good. I really want it. These pieces get really expensive. I've heard like even just one of those slopes could be like $50. Wow. <laughs> um, so it's really cool. So speaking oh, yeah. of special things, oh. check this out. The Fire Nation what? Warship. So we got Aang over wow. there. Oh, I love Avatar Last Airbender. I've never seen this in person built. This is so cool. Oh my gosh, from 2006. Wow, they have not priced it out yet. These go for so much money, so I don't even know if I'd be able to pick this up, but wow. The Fire Nation soldiers there. Katara, oh my gosh. I am like fangirling over this set right now. This is so good. I would love to get these at some point, but I don't know, they're a little bit dated, but the minifigs are just, I just love the series so much, so I would love to pick this up. Okay guys, so check this out. So the manager just came by and he wanted me to show off. These are gonna be like the rare Star Wars figures that won't go on sale until Saturday at 11 o'clock at Brick Rodeo. Hope to see you there, but just take a look at everything you get. You get a Zeb, Jedi Bob, black haired Kanan, what? Oh, that's cool. Ula, my life be like Ula. Uh, I can never remember if that's Forlom or Zuckus, but I'm sure I'm about to get corrected on it. Zuckus. It's Zuckus. <laughs> Zam Wessel, oh, Jango Fett, Cad Bane, Arc Trooper, <laughs> Wolf Trooper, uh, Captain Rex, Captain Rex, uh, Fifth Brother, Thrawn, Grievous, and Ahsoka. Look at that. These are like some awesome figures. I have like a thousand dollars worth of mini figures. That's crazy. Right Isn't that awesome? I am so stoked to see black haired cane and if you didn't know this was like something that came out in the first wave of the ghost uh but they later corrected it because lego had got the hair wrong and so only if you got like that first wave of the ghost set could you have gotten black haired cane in. so it is an incredible treat to see in person ross and sans are freaking out over the mini pigs <laughs> all right ross what else, what else we got okay so we still got a lot of other cool things so check this out so this is the imperial landing craft they've actually just remade this a few years ago in 2018 so this is the older 2007 version this is what i'm excited for this is what i'm thinking about this is what emily's gonna have to convince me to not get oh no this is the rogue shadow so this came from the forced unleashed video games so totally non-canon but it comes with star killer over here Oh wow! In 2008, okay. and then I believe that's Darth Vader after uh, after some. Oh, his some face turning scary. Yeah. Oh no. So you're gonna get this one, Ross? I'm thinking about it. Yeah. I'm, okay. I'm okay. It. Here's something else. You know, everybody's been talking about the ATTE. Well, let's look at the OG ATTE. This is back before the bluish grays, right? So this is just dark gray and light gray. Oh wow! It's cool to see it. I absolutely love seeing this thing in person. Um, I don't actually have this one. I have the 2008 one and the 2013 one or 12 one. Uh, but unfortunately I don't have this one. It looks great, but I think I'm gonna hold out to the next one that comes out later this year. Ah, I can't wait. Luke's Land Speeder. Another Luke's Land Speeder. I believe, if I'm correct, this is the Luke's Land Speeder that comes with one of the Moss Eisley Cantinas. Oh, nice. Uh, from about 2004. This set's awesome because it comes with arm print Greedo. Ooh, fancy. I'm just so excited. They have so many good things at this Bricks and Minifigs. I don't know why they've been holding out on us. But check <laughs> this out. This is gonna be the UCS TIE Interceptor. Look how cool it is. Look how bulbous. It's so very bulbous. bodacious. This one is actually another white whale of mine. 
This is going to be the uh, the tide know. crawler. Are we spending money today? We might be spending money today. So okay. this is, again, this is a non-canon ship, but I remember uh, using this in, um, what was it, Empire at War, I believe was the video game. And it was, a, it was kind of like StarCraft or Star Wars. Check it out. It comes with a, uh, is it a Shadow Trooper or a Dark Trooper? I don't remember anymore. Shadow. Shadow Trooper. And what's really interesting about it is it has, you know, it, it has these treads. I believe in canon, it's actually supposed to have like the treads moving forward, which is always like a weird joke because it's like, how can you see from the cockpit? Oh, how, yeah. how can you see anywhere? So I think it makes sense to just kind of eh, spin them around backwards. Woo. There, there we, we go. go. So that's pretty cool. Wow. Oh, wow. I didn't think it actually like go that well. Oh, this is cool. That's really neat. Oh. Do you want this one, Ross? I'm thinking about it. <laughs> All right, so check this out. With the uh, we got the UCS Star Destroyer. I actually really want to get this set. Uh, today's the last day of double VIP, and I was really considering grabbing it. Uh, Emily eventually tucked me out of it, though. She just said that we don't have space, and uh, that was an argument I couldn't really rebuttal to. Yep, that's fair. Where would this go? I have no idea. My favorite thing about this set is that. Um, it comes with the Tantive Four over here, and it's to scale. Oh, wow. Just to kind of help you know, like, how big a Star Destroyer really is. Yeah, that's compared crazy. Compared to a Tantive Four. Wow. And there's other sets of, like, the Tantive Four that come with, like, smaller versions of other, other starships. And so you can kind of start to see, like, oh, the sizes that they're all supposed to be compared to each other. Oh, man, I'm pumped, I'm pumped, I'm pumped. Oh. Okay, right here. This one is a very emotional set for me. This is yeah? the original Clone Trooper Battle Pack when I was a kid. Uh, when this set was coming out, they like made a whole deal of it and they're like limited edition, but like every set is limited edition. Um, <laughs> That's true, yeah. And I remember like begging my mom, like, mom, I really want this, it's limited edition. And then it turns out like, you know, you can buy it for like three years. Um, this is the set, anybody at Lego watching, this is the set I want them to redo <laughs> with like the current versions of the, uh, the episode three clones. Ah, it's so cool. So it comes with the shock trooper. And it comes with the star core and then two plain clone troopers. It, this is the perfect battle pack. I wish they would remake this one. Okay, so something else that kind of catches my eyes. I've always wanted this Kessel run from the Falcon. <laughs> Sorry, Josh distracted me. All right, so <laughs> this is one I've actually, I've always kind of wanted. I'm not too into playset Falcons, but this one was kind of unique and I really wanted it, but never did get it. Um, I was able to get the one exclusive Pike figure from it, which eventually went up in value because of Book of Boba Fett. But man, this thing looks cool. Uh, I love how white it is, but again, it's okay I didn't get it. But hey, speaking of awesome battle packs, look at this, Emily. What? What? This is an awesome battle pack that came out years and years ago, 2008. Wow. So uh, I remember when these helmets came out, it was the coolest thing ever. Cause I was like, wow, we could actually have rebel troopers now. It was really fun, but it's like interesting because I always thought their uniform looked like they were just going to work. <laughs> yeah, they're just like blue collar. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wow. So I just saw this one here and I was so excited because I thought it was Docs, but it's actually just Ninjago City. I say just Ninjago City. It's still a really cool set. We actually have this one already in our city, right next to the Ninjago City Gardens. It is just beautiful. There's so many details in here and I kind of wish that I'd seen Ninjago so that I would actually know all of the references here, but it's still just beautiful to look at. But then right next to it is Destiny's Bounty. This is just such a beautiful ship. I don't know where I would put it, what I would do with it, but it just looks so good. All the details, the gold in here, I just love it. Oh, I didn't even notice this. Look at this. So this is the UCS Snowspeeder. Whoa, <laughs> I've never seen this one before. This is so cool. That's really well done. Yeah, this is nice. It's a really cool set. This is actually the first time I've ever seen this set in person. Wait, should we get this one to go with our AT-AT? -AT? That would look <laughs> so cool. <laughs> the play scale snow speeders are more in scale with the uh, that's AT, -AT. Fair. <laughs> Yeah, that's fair. Here hey, Claire, you have a 2014 Tumblr, your favorite. Claire, so tell us a little bit about your history with the 2014 Batman Tumblr. Uh, it's a bit of a sore subject. I am smiling through the pain, but the reality yeah. is the the day before the Tumblr was announced and leaked, the new one, I decided to pay $400 and get the 2014 <laughs> one, new in box. Yeah. All right. I want to see everybody put an F down in chat for Claire, the <laughs> plastic architect. Check her out on YouTube. Yeah, go check her out. <laughs> okay, so this is actually one of my like favorite sets that isn't like totally you know well known in Marvel, the Avenged Jet Space Mission. First of all, the reason it's the best set is I think this is the best Thanos uh, figure they've made um, because it looks more like the comic book version. And I really, I enjoy the Marvel and DC stuff when they're more in the comics than the movies because I'm just a hipster like that. Um, and it also comes with, 
I like to call him Scuba Steve. Oh my god. Um, but I guess technically it's Spaceman Steve. I like the Scorpion back there. That's cool. Oh yeah, and that, that's a junior set? I didn't even know Scorpion came in a junior set. No wonder. <laughs> I like that a lot. Oh cool, so check this out. So we got some uh, Rob Patman stuff everywhere. Um, <laughs> I really enjoyed that movie. I really liked it. A little long though. And then this is over here. This is actually one of my favorite superheroes, Iron Fist. Um, so it's cool that you can actually get him in a set and it's not too expensive either. So I would recommend if you need an Iron Fist to definitely come pick this one up. Oh wow. And I have one of my favorite friends sets in stock right now. This is the party boat. I got this from one of my channel members, Tommy Rich, a while back. It is so cute. And actually, so you can like have them dancing, but what's more fun is putting stormtroopers here. And Ross like had all the stormtroopers having like a boat party. There's also a Flamodi where you can put some of your minifigs there and like they're getting towed behind a boat. It's just really cute. I love this set. Oh wow. And they even have the friendship bus here too. I don't have this set, but it looks really cute. Oh, hey Ross. Oh, wow. <laughs> Whoa. What Please. did you find, Sans? <laughs> I just found this set here. I have never seen this before. It looks so weird. What year is this from? I'm gonna find a copyright. It's only from 2019. Why don't I remember this? So this is the weirdest vehicle I've seen in my life. There's like a pretzel in the front, all the different colors. No clue what this is, but I'm considering getting it just cause it's kind of funny. Check this out. We were able to find a rare Bellevue horse. Now you might not know it, but this is actual Lego and it is in system. Look at that. Oh wow. And it turns out our friend Claire here collects Bellevue. So we're gonna surprise her with this. She hasn't seen it yet. And um, I think she's gonna be really happy. She has no idea. Alrighty, so all of our stuff is up on the top here. I think it's time to check out. He's tempting us yeah. with it. They had other ones. Too. I really want it. <laughs> no. Claire, we were able to snag this for you. No. Check it out. Thank you. Let me you don't know what it is yet. It's a bevel horse. No, you I... weren't supposed to see it. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> wow. Thank you. Wow. Thank you, Bob. Yeah. Oh, Hug the camera. Yay. All righty. Hi, Sans. Hi. Hi, Josh. Hi, Claire. <laughs> Alrighty, so we just left Bricks and Minifigs. Are you ready for a car haul, Ross? Car haul, car haul, car, car haul. haul, car haul. All right, so this might not be the most exciting of car hauls. No, it's the most exciting. The most exciting, okay. ready? We got a lot of plates. Plates, no balls. Plates. But more importantly, we got like good color plates. So we got a lot of green, a lot of gray. gray. This is gonna help because we have the roller coaster and we don't have enough green. So yeah, tons of plates. Tons of plates. Okay, check this one out. Oh, so Claire found this one for me. It's the uh, Mrs. Incredible printed piece from one of the four plus sets. Um, I actually just got this one at Brick World Chicago, but I didn't want to open up the set just to get this piece out, so. I found it today, super exciting. What is it? Oh, it's the approval rating of the supers. Finally went up. That's cool. So. Oh. oh, and then this one, I was freaking out in the store, y'all. Okay, check this out. It's a McDonald's poly bag. Okay, so random weird fact, like this is so weird, but I remember when I was little, I got all the VHSs of the Ronald McDonald show. It's so creepy and weird, but I've been making Ross watch it and he really likes it a lot. Not it's his favorite ever. It. Absolutely hate it. But I found this and it is just so nice. So I think, is that printed? Mm -hmm. I think that's printed on the front. That is so cool. So I was, I was so excited. This is $5. I'm so excited. I actually never had this one. I had Grimace. Grimace? Grimace! Yeah, oh, I had the Grimace The Hamburglar and Birdie. And Birdie. The Chicken Nuggets. And I think Sunday the Dog. Yeah. Right? <laughs> well, speaking of Sunday, the sun is going down and it is the end of our day. So that will conclude our vlog here at the Bricks and Mini Figs up in Austin. Make sure to check it out. And if you're going to Brick Rodeo this weekend at the Renaissance Hotel in North Austin, let them know at the Bricks and Minifigs table that we sent you. You'll yes. get 20% off of minifigures and bricks. And an exclusive minifigure there. First 15 people. Yes, they only have 15, so get there early. Thank you so much to Bricks and Minifigs Austin for sponsoring this video, and we'll see you guys at Brick Rodeo. Bye, guys.